now we're braking for I don't know why. Nobody's really behind me, so I'm letting it break. Oh, for this curve. Oh my gosh. Which it still looks pretty difficult. Oh, yeah, okay. What is going on, everybody? We're here looking at software update 2020.20.12. I wanted to start out. It's actually the next day. I've already recorded pretty much the whole video. But uh, Green on Twitter found some extra stuff in the background of this update that you and I won't be able to see. But if you look at these pictures he brought out, he found speed limit signs worldwide. So he's thinking speed limit recognition is coming soon and roundabout support. So he's found a sign for roundabouts and he found these signs for speed limits, the speed limit signs for different countries. So that is super exciting. He said this came with 2020.20.12. So this is brand new. So it looks like we'll be seeing those soon. He found the stop sign and stoplight graphics. I want to say it was about a month or so. I, I might be wrong, but I think about a month before it came to all of our cars. I also want to say thank you to John and Glenn, my newest patrons. Really appreciate the support. Let's get into the release notes. We'll do some autopilot testing. If you end up liking this video, please hit like, get subscribed. Let's get into it. We have the release notes up here. I will slowly scroll through these. You can pause in the video if you want to read more info and we will check out all the features of this latest update. So the first one's GPS updates. I don't really have a great way to show you that, but I will say after the stop signs and stoplights update, I wouldn't have GPS uh, for maybe five minutes or so, uh, maybe more like three minutes. And I don't know if it was like that before, but I noticed because I'd get a big warning on my screen on the left of the screen here, Fallout Shelter, a brand new game, which we will check out. This was actually a free mobile game uh, for many years already. And I don't know, it's kind of fun for a minute. Um, but it's a free mobile game. Theater mode improvements. This is pretty nice. Um, you can now use the controls on your steering wheel um, over here to, ooh, that's dark, um, to control the volume, pause, and play, and all that. And that's something I had mentioned when the update first was released is, you know, you're in that, and then you have to touch the screen, and I don't know, it's just weird that you couldn't use the stuff on the steering wheel. So now you can, so that's a great improvement. And then tracks improvements. This is the music making software on the car. Ridiculous that this is even on a car, but it's just so cool. Um, you can make songs on the car. Maybe we'll get Stephanie out to try this out. She's uh, pretty good at making some music. Um, we can have her try out those new features, and we'll see how that does. All right, so first up, let's check out Fallout Shelter. Uh, we go into our entertainment tab here. Uh, the new one we actually got updated here in the last update. Looks really nice. All these games are in order of when they've been added to the car. Um, so here's the newest one, Fallout Shelter. Let's click play and it'll load up. Can't control the volume with the scroll wheels, which is weird because they just added that to the theater. You think you'd be able to. I never know if this stuff is copyrighted, so I always mute it. I don't want to get in trouble. Not sure what they're going with here. Um, pretty funny because... I don't know if they're like trying to relate this to the Cybertruck or something, you know, going for the apocalypse scenario. But uh, there we go. It's a good vault number. Oh, you cannot use a controller on this game, I guess, which is weird because I swear it just worked on the last menu, but it's not working here. Um, it's really weird. Like, wow, the graphics are just so good. And I just remember it as like a phone game. So it's just kind of weird. So if you've never played it, just really quick, you basically build a base, you save up resources, and you try to recruit, like you'll get people coming in from the wasteland. So like, here's here's some people, and you can bring them in to, you know, do stuff. They have certain skills, and they'll have weapons or clothes or stuff like that. So then you just hold them, and you assign them to whatever room you want them to work in or whatever. So it's a fun little game. One more strange thing I'm noticing, I turn my headlights on when I make these videos, like at night in the garage, like for light, obviously. Um, and when I play the game, like click play game here, it turns my headlights off. Uh, that's strange. And then when I X out, it turns them back on. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's just something I noticed. It's kind of weird. All right. So next up is theater mode improvements. We're in the arcade here um, and we can choose whatever. Again, this only works when you're in park, but uh, we'll load up YouTube here. I'm not signed in. I, I don't like to be signed in because then like when you go in the browser, it your Gmail and everything is signed in, which is kind of security <laughs> issue with me. Um, I don't want like anyone who comes in my car to be able to open the browser and go into my email and, and all my files and stuff. So I find that kind of strange. Wow. I just need to make a video about my morning routine. I'll get a million views. All right. Coming up next. All right. So here we are. I'm using the scroll wheel. Uh, I actually pressed it on. And there you go. Cool. If I click it, bam, it's paused. Very nice. If I go left or sorry, right. Oh, look at that. It advances five seconds. Go left. It goes back five seconds. Very cool. Awesome. Seems simple enough. I'm really glad they included it. That's huge quality of life improvement. 
Okay, so let's head out for a drive. I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. And then after that, we will check out tracks with Stephanie. We'll see how that's improved. So uh, I will see you on the road. Okay, so checking out some stop sign and stoplight stuff. I have a few stoplights on this road. And uh, I will say my GPS was fine when I left home. It was not off at all. Even though the release notes said it may take some time. I mean, they said it will take some time to calibrate uh, after this update. I didn't have anything like that at all. All right, coming up to this first set of lights here. If you saw my last video, these actually weren't up yet. Um, and they were, they were like sideways on the line. Well, now they're here um, and they're not functioning yet. They're just blinking yellow, but we can see how the car deals with these. As this guy gets in front of me, whoa, slamming on the brakes. Don't really blame the car. That guy definitely cut me off. Uh, so stopping for traffic control in 300 feet. Yeah, it thinks it's yellow. So I have to hold my foot. Yeah, so I'm holding my foot over the accelerator. Um, so it's actually a little different than before. Blinking yellow used to confuse it where you would hit this to tell it, tell it to continue, but then it would just keep, uh, I just tapped the accelerator there. Then it would just keep resetting and making you tap either the stock or the accelerator every time. Now it just sees the blinking yellow as yellow, um, which, you know, it's fine. It's, it's not perfect, but uh, you just put your foot on the accelerator and then, and then you'll go right through. So I'm interested in this. We're really far back. I want to pass all these people, but for the video, um, stopping in 400 feet. I'm going to hit that now because one of the problems was if you were far away and, and you tapped this, it would then kind of reset and ask you again and start to slow. Um, so, so far looking really good and that's awesome. So, you know, it might have just been a fluke or something. I would like to see it a few more times, but um, that was really good because like I said before, you'd hit that too early. It would then reset as you got closer. Um, so seems a little smoother uh, both of those interactions the blinking yellow and the green uh, everything was just a little bit smoother the thing I'm mostly worried about here that I want to see improved under autopilot I still have traffic lights and stop signs on for this video um, I talked about maybe turning it off and on my way this morning I didn't have it trigger on the highway at all not one time did it react to the signs above me that you'll see soon um, so we'll see if it does that and then I'll try a bend in the road people said that's gotten a lot better so let's get to those and we'll try it Okay, so when I'm under these signs, usually would trigger more often, not every time, but again, so far I've went through two on this drive. I don't know how many ever this morning and it's not triggering at all. So uh, that's pretty impressive because before it was triggering with these overhead signs, like maybe half the time or 60% of the time. Uh, so I, I think I'm ready to be happy that this hasn't happened yet. Okay, so last one here. Uh, if it gets through this one, I'm gonna say it's good. And uh, if it happens, I'll update you, but I don't know. I'm going to assume that they fixed this because it has not happened once and it used to happen pretty often. So that's pretty great. So let's hop off the highway. Uh, I got this curve where the car usually would go into the other lane because it's a pretty tight bend. We'll see if uh, that's doing better, if autopilots improve there. Okay, so we're coming up to this part of the road with the crazy bend in it. It's kind of a combination of speed and the angle of the road and kind of the way the lines are painted. So I have it set up to 55. It's already not going very fast. Um, and yeah, it's already slowing down. So this right here, wow, every time before, it would speed all the way up to my set speed, like immediately, and then kind of fly off to the side as that bend came up. That time I turned autopilot on and I wasn't going very fast. And rather than speeding up, it stayed at that speed and took the turn really well. I've never seen it do that, I'm not sure. It has gone off to the other side of the road every time I've tried it there. I don't know if I've put it in a video before, uh, but it's a spot that I just kinda on my own test pretty often. And now we're braking for, I don't know why, nobody's really behind me, so I'm letting it brake. Oh, for this curve, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, okay, it's a little too cautious, but that is amazing. I had no idea what it was doing. Wow, that is really good. And then this one, it's always screwed up which it still looks pretty difficult. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> well, nice try. But uh, wow, that's slowing down. You know, in, for my preference, maybe you would like it, but for me, a little too aggressive of a slowdown for that curve. But that is a huge improvement, a uh, big change. So people aren't kidding this time. You know, I got comments uh, a few updates ago. Oh, it's so much better around bends, blah, blah, blah. And then I made a video of it flying off the road and doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, this time it's real. So again, hitting the brakes. You can see the regen bar going up here, taking the turn really nicely. Okay, now hitting the brakes for, that wasn't very good. You know, come, when you come out of the bend, you should accelerate. So the improvement around bends didn't come out with this update. It came out with the 2020.16 updates, uh, but I hadn't really experienced it. I hadn't really tried it out. Um, so yeah, I would say that's a huge improvement with the last update or even this update. And then why not, coming up to a roundabout, 
Let's give it a quick try, you know, since that stuff in the background and the software was added for roundabouts, hopefully coming soon. Uh, that doesn't mean the software is ready to do it yet, but it's ready to display some things about roundabouts so it knows that it has to stop at this intersection here. Going a little fast, but I trust it will stop. Yep, the line looks really good. And we have stopped. I'm gonna wait for these cars to get out of my way. Autopilot unable to proceed, but sometimes it'll still go for you. All right, and here we go, I'm gonna hit the accelerator. Nope, and it just quit. So I didn't take over autopilot, just turned itself off. Okay, so back on the highway. So yeah, no roundabouts yet, but seems like they are coming soon. Okay, so we're here, hello. Hello. We're gonna look at tracks, let's try it out. So you go, or not up there, it used to be up here. Now it's down here. So they added piano roll view that allows you to edit and fine tune notes on a track. Oh yeah, so we tried to make a song on here, right? Mm -hmm. And you couldn't do that. Right. So maybe now you can do it. I have no idea. It already has something in here. Yeah, keyboard cat. <laughs> that was awesome. You don't like keyboard cat? Um, it's fine, but aren't I supposed to make something? I guess. You're gonna add to keyboard cat. Can you turn it up? With the scroll wheel? See, what the heck? They have it the other stuff, you can turn it up with the scroll wheel, but the games you can't. That's weird. Oh, you just did it, look. There's your octaves. Yeah, because that wasn't there before either, was it? No, I don't remember. I don't think it was. We were trying to make the song from The Witcher. Toss a coin to your Witcher and you couldn't, didn't have all the notes. <laughs> your masterpiece. Oh, yeah. So just about as useful as before. I didn't explore all of it, but... Will you be using that? No. That's Drax. Forgot to film an outro, so... so autopilot and I enjoy the outro song. driving along. <laughs>